when you see numbers like this, what comes to your mind? This is what we refer to as the index form. Recall that 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 can be expressed as 2 to the power of 4. The index form is a way of writing numbers as one number to the power of another number. The number is called the base, while the power is the index or exponent. Previously, we have seen that 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 can be expressed as 2 to the power of 4. Now, we know what this is called. It is the index form. Here, 2 is the base, while 4 is the index. Can you recall our lesson on large numbers? Each of these numbers can be expressed as multiples of 10 as displayed in the table. We can also go further to express the numbers in index form as 10 power 6, 10 power 9, and 10 power 12, respectively. Generally, to express a number in index form, we first express the number as a product of its prime factors. Then, we take each factor and raise them to the power of their frequency. So, if we have 36, it can be expressed as 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. We can further group the prime factors to get 2 power 2 times 3 power 2. We have successfully expressed 36 in index form. We can derive a number from its index notation. Say we have 3 power 4. We know this means 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which is equal to 81. The index notation is not restricted to whole numbers alone. Decimals and fractions can also be expressed in index form. Let's meet up in another lesson to see how this is done. In this lesson, we have learned that numbers can be expressed as a product of its prime factors which are written with powers of their frequency. Bye for now.